Good Wednesday, everybody. This is Jason with 256 Garage, our midweek uh, report, whatever you want to call it, review, because I'm not really going to do a walk around the shop. Uh, they're inside working wide open. Don't want to slow nobody down. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this 2010 Nesson Frontier that I am working on. Uh, took a lick in the front, so it blew the driver's side airbag. So let me just show you what I'm talking about on the airbag deal. So anyway, right here it is, 2010 Nissan Frontier. Uh, when it took the lick in the front, it blew the driver's airbag. So when you blow an airbag, it also locks and trips the seat belts. I went ahead and removed them. Uh, right here they are. But like he was wearing the seat belt when the accident occurred. So the seat belt is locked extended. Now the passenger side one wasn't, nobody was using it, but it's locked also. But it is locked retracted. But anyway, what we do is we remove, remove both seat belts. We'll box them up. We'll send them to like Safety Restore or My Airbag, and they will repair them and send them back to us, and we can put them in and make everything work. Also, the airbag module on this Nissan is located in the under the console in the center. Just remove the drink holder, and right there it is. Some of them you have to remove the whole console. It's a lot more difficult. But this one here is not too bad. You got one, two, three bolts unplug the wires and you'll have it out the main thing is just make sure you remove your battery cable and give everything time to set because a lot of those modules like that they'll hold juice and let it i don't know what you say let it go away leak out i don't know but anyway because you don't want to <coughs> take a chance of blowing any seat bags like see it's got the seat bags it's probably got the curtain bags also but you don't want to take a chance of removing the module and tripping one of those. So take your battery loose first thing, give everything time to, to reset, and then remove your seat belts and your module and your airbag. We've got another airbag to go in this and we just got to go pick it up. But first we've got to get these seat belts and the module sent to, like I said, either Safety Restore or My Airbag and let them repair them for us. And then they'll be ready to put back in. Then we'll put them back in. We'll put the airbag back in, reset the light, and everything should be good to go. But anyway, that's a little bit about removing airbag and seat belts to have them repaired. And gives you a little idea. Airbags are not as scary as everyone made them out to be. It's not a bad job. Like I said, the main thing is just having a, a scanner that will reset the light after you get it done and just making sure like I said, you hook everything up correctly. You want to put your airbag in, put your seat belts in, hook up your module, then hook your battery back up. Then do your process of hooking up your scanner and resetting the light. So that's a little bit about removing airbags on a 2010 Nissan Frontier. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in to 256 Garage. Saturday, we'll have us a weekend review like usual and show you what's going on. But everyone have a great Wednesday and a great rest of the week. Thank <laughs> you.